<laughs> when a guest house belonging to one of Nigeria's leading Christian pastors collapsed last month, killing 158 mostly South African pilgrims, attention focused on the multi million dollar mega churches that form a huge and taxed sector of Africa's top economy. <laughs> Hundreds of millions of dollars change hands each year in these popular Pentecostal houses of worship, which are modeled on their counterparts in the United States. But exactly how much of Nigeria's 510 billion US dollar GDP they make up is difficult to assess. There's total lack of accountability and transparency in the church system. Is it? Is that for, stop, stop. Uh, you see, this is a non believer. Maybe he's a believer, I don't know. I'm saying it's not the clergy, this is just a, an analyst. This is just a regular, normal person that is even aware that is total lack of accountability in Nigerian churches. Is that not an indictment on us, pastors? That is an indictment. That is an indictment on us, on the church. And our pastors will say, hey, you know, God put me here. It is God that put me here. Nobody can. So, hey, God put you. So does that mean that nobody should also question what you do with people's money, with God's money? Hey, God will ask me. But now God will ask you when you get there. But what about here? You are living with human beings here. And the people who gave the money, they didn't hear, they didn't hear, they are not here yet. Oh. Let them know what you are doing with their money. And I beg, I beg you now. You are not only me, this is the practice in all countries. And we are bragging, eh? we are the richest pastors in the world. All the richest pastors are in Nigeria. Eh? Eh? So, what is the result? <laughs> what is the good of that richest pastors? Because it's true, out of the 10 richest pastors in the world, I think, one, I think, I think only two or seven of them are not Nigerians, or one. All the rest are Nigerians. <laughs> but what is the good? How does that reflect on the country? Because you are only doing it for yourself. You are not re releasing some of the money to better the country. Please, remit that particular phrase that again. Yes. Go ahead they make up is difficult to assess. There's total lack of accountability and transparency in the church system. Therefore, uh, one hopes that it's only a question of time before, even for the good of the church, that there should be transparency. Stop. You see? Even for the good of the church. Somebody that is even a secular person has enough sense to know that this is even for the good of the church. It's for our own reputation. It's for the good of the church. For the for there to be transparency. Transparency is good for us. We could say yes. Look what we are doing with the money. Yes, our hands are clean. Then we could have more trust from the public. Then there will be more integrity. Then there will be better relationship between the church and the society. I mean, all Nigerian pastors began to ah ah. How can you make a deputy to resign? Ah, so it means all your deputy has to resign. It means uh, Joshua has to resign. It means uh, Chris has to resign. All our geos have to resign. No, no, we're not going to. So they put their political weight and killed the one of the greatest no no you know propositions, one of the greatest uh uh you know ad, ad, ideas so in Nigerian so in history. And they disgraced that guy. They made him look bad. They, 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 they what do you call it? They, they verified him, spoiled his name, ca you know, character assassination on him. They just disgraced him. And the guy is out of office right now. Pastors are the ones who are doing it. Pastors, oh, churches. We are supposed to be the conscience of the society. These are the people they are calling father also. Fathers of the land. Cannot stand... Pro, pro, probity, probe. They cannot stand uh, uh, you know, equity. They cannot stand justice, righteousness. They cannot stand probe. They cannot stand. Uh, they didn't say pay tax. They didn't say pay tax. Just show. Make you just, just show. Make you show like this. What you are doing with the money. It's just like you are having a church in, in England. And you are registered in the charity commission, and you are saying you are not going to submit your report. You will not submit. Ha <laughs> ha! That's the end for you. That's why they ban all your people from going there now. You want them to ban all of us? Finish. Hey guys, I'm going to talk. Oh, I'm, we are going. To, we must change our eccentrics. The style of leadership in the African church must change. 
If we want Africa to change, if we want to rescue, you know the topic of this scene is called uh, urgent measures to rescue the African church. If we want to rescue the African church, if you want us to rescue the African church, we must change our leadership style. The leadership style that is based on secrecy, the leadership style that lacks transparency, the leadership style that lacks accountability, that, st that stance cannot, cannot be a, 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 style, I mean, a style of leadership that will lead the country to a better future. We cannot lead Nigeria into a great future if we are all going to be quiet about the obvious things that, are, that even unbelievers know to be right. We must all begin to talk about these things. And you know what? Everybody kept quiet. <laughs> we were supposed to go out to support Buhari and say, Buhari, if you are against corruption, you must bring back this law. Bring back that uh, Jim, Jim Baz, Baz? Obase. Bring back that Jim Obase. He must, we must bring him back. He's the kind of leader that we need. That kind of guy, we need him. He must help us sanitize the, the public service in Nigeria. Okay, let's go ahead. What happens is that the people that run the church, if anything happens to them, then there will be no records. Some of the churches can hold more than 200,000 worshippers. We use the income of the church to build schools. We use okay, stop, stop, stop. Wow, 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 wow. Did I just hear schools? Hey! Young man, I mean, old, man of God. <laughs> what did I just hear? Did I just, eh, eh, eh. Will you say that again? Did you tell me you build schools? Did you tell me you build schools? Did I just hear schools? <laughs> hey, make you know, what do they call this in like, Europe? I mean, uh, uh, Nigerian language. Uh, make you know, just push, make you know, feed us with mumu. There is something, there is a language for it. Don't feed us with, huh? Bobo. Bobo, but, uh, don't, uh, don't feed us with Bobo or don't do. Bobo us. Huh? Don't Bobo us. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> Make no Bobo also. Osobo. The, huh? Osobo. Not Osobo. Huh? Sobo. No, no, no. Don't Bobo also. Bobo. Be, because the Mamu or what they call Mamu of this. Mamu, 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 yeah. Do. Yeah. The Mumu of these people don't do. <laughs> the Mumu of Nigeria don't do. Make no Bobo these people again. Though. How can you have me? <laughs> You are telling them you build schools? <laughs> you, you think guys don't know what you do? <laughs> you, make it. you think people don't know what you do? What kind of schools you build? You, <laughs> you, make it. you think people don't know what kind of schools you build? <laughs> you want to tell me <laughs> you build schools? I mean, the way they say it, as if they build it for free, like the missionaries build. We build schools. I mean, we are the, we are the, we are the Christians. We are the good ones, the kind ones. We build schools with the money we collect. You mean it? Ah, make you not tell me that story. Make you not tell me that story. Make you not tell me that story. <laughs> because if they're going to get to a point eh, in this Nigeria when church members will be coming with placards. And we'll be coming with demonstrations to say, school care. Hey, I'm bringing my children from tomorrow. Pray go take them from that school. Take them there so that we don't pay anything. Buy the uniform. Buy the food. Buy everything. Give that uh, uh, those children school. You the blue school. Hey, make them bring the children come now. <laughs> you talking about building schools? You talking about building schools? Are you kidding me? <laughs> okay, okay. Let, let, let's see the film continue. <laughs> the churches can hold more than 200,000 worshippers. We use the income of the church to build schools. Mm -hmm. We use the income of the church to feed, I mean, to, to serve the need of the poor. For so instance, in my church, we run what we call empowerment, membership empowerment scheme. So what, what is that? We give people money, interest-free money, to start small-scale businesses. How many? Clusters, so that no one gets out with the money and never returns. Uh, so we do that a lot, and uh, I think last year alone, in this church alone, we are over a half a billion naira invested. Stop, 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 stop. Half a billion naira. You tell me how much does that come to and how much you collect a week. I have it on personal record, and on, you know, if necessary, we, will go, we are going to show you, that this church collects more than five million dollars every Sunday, one, one, one day, a day. 
So what is half a billion naira? What is half a billion naira in a year? Ah ah, Oga pastor, Oga pastor. I mean, that's like saying you are collecting one million, one million dollars, and you are giving one do one dollar out, and you're saying, yes, we are the champions, huh? Huh? That is like three thousand dollars, or three hundred thousand dollars, or thirty thousand dollars, you know. But take it easy, guys. Take it easy. Take it easy. That is no money. That five hundred billion, five hundred million you are saying you are giving out, that's no money, guys. Let's let's hear. It. We'll finish. <laughs> Being a tata, a tata and worshipping God in truth and in spirit is very, very necessary because stop, stop, if I stop, wasn't, stop. I don't know what the end. Stop. You see? Being a tata. She is not saying you they give up or anything, no. That woman didn't say the church is giving her anything, no. The church is the, the tata. And we, Christian, we know what tata means. You can, and she is the one who they give the church. <laughs> she know they collect anything for church, oh. That's what she's trying to tell you, that she's the tata. Although she's been brainwashed, and all these people have been brainwashed. They don't know that we are fighting for their own good. It's just like the Harriet, uh, Harriet, uh, 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 uh Foodman, uh, uh, Albert, 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 what about the name of that Harriet, uh, something is in America. They say, I, I freed 1,000 slaves. I could have freed another 1,000 if those people would have known that they were slaves. Uh, Harriet, Albert. Tubman, Harriet Tubman, Harriet Tubman, the lady who was freeing the slaves. She said she couldn't convince all of that black people to know that they were slaves. She couldn't convince them. They thought they were the freest of the free because their boss was giving them three square meal food. But they said the three square meal food they are giving you, eh? That thing is like $10 a, in a month. But you are making 1000 They are feeling you just 10 out of your 1000 He said, no, but we are eating for free. For free? What about your work? No, no, we are not slaves. They are taking care of us. They are good. Ah, that's, not, that's exactly what is happening in Nigeria today. <laughs> I'm a tighter. If not because I'm a tighter, you don't know that it's because of you are a tighter that that's why that man is riding that jet he's using. And that's why you cannot pay for your school fees because you are a tighter. Some people's mumu, mumu, eh? It's time, about time for that mumu to get finished, yo. <laughs> don't, don't, don't do it. The foolishness, I mean, the ignorance that has been going on, it's time for us to call it a day and say, hey, you guys, come out with accountability. Account for whatever the public gives you. Please, let it play. Uh, a tighter and worshipping God in truth and in spirit is very, very necessary because if I wasn't, I don't know what the enemy would have Brainwash, lady. Brainwash. My understanding of uh, someone who has what he needs to lose at any point in time. Uh, but I don't, ha I don't see myself having one fifty million dollars stacked up somewhere. Or, oh, <laughs> you know. Sarcastic. Sarcastic. Uh, one way to find their figures. I'm only able to see Wait, wait, wait. wait. Um, stop, stop, stop. Wherever they found their figures, are you not the one who say one fifty dollar is too small? That that's not what you have. That they are laughing at you to say you are worth one fifty million dollars. That one fifty million dollar that they they are rubbish. That me worth one fifty million? Ah, that is smooth. You know that is rubbish. That is making me look small. I am worth much more than that. Is that what what you are saying? But now for BBC or CCTV or whatever, you are now telling them diplomatic, and the way we Nigerians know how to do. No, no, I don't have anything. No. <laughs> But when you are in your church with your people, you are with the video there for internet, you are saying, ah, what is 150 billion? What is 150 billion? That's nothing. And you yourself, you told me in person that you have spent more than one b three billion dollars on that, on that uh, you know, the Kanakane land. Three billion dollars at that point. Is that four, three or four billion dollars that you have spent? That one where I was present there. So, you know, and it's also a public knowledge that you have said you have spent more than a, a lot of billion U.S. dollars. And now you are talking about, ah, Shineke, make God help us. But what oh. I'm, the, the bottom line is that the leadership, the style of leadership of our people, if we want to change Africa, the style of leadership must change. We must change from egocentric leadership into people-centric leadership into God-centric leadership. We must introduce the kind of leadership that cares for the people. We must introduce the 
kind of leadership that is more concerned about pleasing God and doing the will of God on the earth, loving God and loving people. That's what Jesus said. The only thing that matters is to love God and love people. We must change our leadership. I mean, the type of leadership in Nigeria must change from loving self to loving people, loving self to loving God. We must change the kind of leadership style that we have. But the unfortunate thing, I'm not even concerned about these geos and these bishops anymore. I'm more concerned about the new generation that are copying them. Too many people are copying this failed leadership style that we are, and they are celebrating this horrible leadership style that we have. You know, this is the kind of leadership that we used to have before also in Nigeria, in our, our grandfathers. You know what they were doing? Our grandfathers, the Obas, they were selling, they were going to raid the villages and selling their brothers and sisters to slave, into slavery. And they were the heroes and they were hailing them as the heroes. It's the same thing we are doing today. These pastors are doing the same thing. They are holding thousands of people, millions of people, calling them members, but really they are holding them in slavery. That is slavery of the mind, the mental slavery. Collecting money from them, living big, and making people to believe that it is God that is providing for them. But if God is providing for you, why do you still need to collect anything from anybody? Ha! Huh? If God they provide for you, why don't don't collect now? Make they give from to collect from God and give people now. The people are poor now. If God they provide for you, make God provide now and you go and distribute to people. No, 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 no. God will not give to you unless you give to me. <laughs> but they don't say give to me, they say give to God. So if I want to give to God, does that does that translate to giving to your church or to you? If I want to give to God, I could give to God by giving to the widows now. I will give to God by giving to the orphanage now. If I want to give to God, I will give to God by giving to the people in the village who cannot buy anything now, to the old people. That is giving to God. But in Nigeria, giving to God means giving to me. In Nigeria, giving to God means giving to my church. In Nigeria, giving to God means giving to my denomination. Manipulation. Manipulation. If you have been watching our videos and maybe you enjoy them, maybe you don't enjoy them, but still, we need you to help us spread the word. And for that to happen, we only need you to take five little steps. Please help us spread this word by liking the video. Then, if you have not yet subscribed to our channel, please go ahead and subscribe to the channel. We also need you to press the notification button. And the way to do that is to click on the bell. You see the bell there? Click on it. Then, of course, leave your comments let's know what you're thinking about each video and finally we need you to go and share the world share this video on your facebook timeline on your uh, instagram and every other platform that you have all right let's win the world for christ thank you so much